directions for the stress response take-home lab. Make sure you guys read the background information, read about different types of stressors. We are going to do the physical stress and the environmental stress. The physiological response to stress, so this is going to be in your um, reasoning for the CER. Make sure you read this. Feel free to highlight the important things. Here's a table comparing acute versus chronic physiological effects of stress. So acute meaning short term, chronic meaning long term. Um, and our scenario. So I'm not going to read this to you, but make sure you guys read our scenario. And so what you guys are going to do, you're going to place yourselves in the shoes of a clinical counselor. You're going to run through the simulations individually to collect evidence on how different stressors affect physiological markers so that you can better answer our driving question. And our driving question is, how does stress affect our bodies? Materials, so all you guys will need at home is a binder clip or clothespin. If you don't have either of those, you can just use your fingers, um, a timer, and then a radio or music with headphones. So the procedure, you're going to go through the following activities and observe the acute effects uh, on heart rate. So initially, we, when we were going to do this in class, we were going to do heart rate and blood pressure because I don't expect you guys to have sphygmomanors at home. We're just going to do heart rate. And you do this by finding your carotid artery in your neck and then counting how many beats you can do. Um, how many beats in 15 seconds and multiply it by 4. I would suggest finding how many beats in 30 seconds and multiplying it by 2. And that's your heart rate, your beats per minute. Okay, so you are going to first make a hypothesis. So what, do you, what effects do you think exercise has on your heart rate? Obviously, it's probably going to go up, hopefully, if you do this right. Um, and then, so I tell you how to find your heart rate here. You're going to record your resting heart rate in the pre-stress column in the table on the next page. Um, so you can run in place, you can run up and down stairs, you can do jumping jacks, doesn't matter, and then record your heart rate at the one minute intervals for, for three minutes. So one, two, and three minutes. And then make sure you record these in the, the table on the next, um, the next page. And then it says record your heart rate in the post-stress column for, ex for exercise stress in table one. So you're going to do this for physical stress for exercise, physical stress for pain, so to do that, again, find your pre or pre-stress um, heart rate. So if you're doing these back to back, give yourself a few minutes after the physical stress. And then it says place a clothespin or a binder clip on the tip of your pinky finger. Now this shouldn't hurt too terribly, just enough so that your heart rate changes. Um, and then again, you're going to record your heart rate at one minute, two minute, and three minutes. If it's too uncomfortable, please take it off. Uh, part C, you're going to record your heart rate for environmental and mental stress. So what you're going to do, you're going to take this multiplication test. So pre-stress math problems without any environmental stressors. And I know this, this already looking at this might stress you out. The trial period math problems are here in this column. And then the post-stress math problems um, are here. So if you don't have a printer at home or you can't print this out, you can just do this on a separate sheet of paper. Um, and then just try to see um, how many you can get through. And then what you're going to change here, <clears throat> you're going to turn on music. So this shouldn't, this shouldn't be like calming music. This should be music that maybe stresses you out. So maybe some heavy metal. Um, if you can't stand country music like me, maybe some country music. And then see if that environmental stressor changes your um, heart rate. Okay, so this is the table where you're going to write all of your information. So note that environmental stress, the noise stress, um, there's only one data point that you're taking here. The other two you're going to do after one minute. Uh, I guess it's it's wanting you to do it three times. I think for time's sake, you could probably just do um, one trial. So I'm going to put optional here. Um, so do this. Just one time is fine. Record your heart rate. Oops, left off the yell. Um, record your heart rate before and after for each of those. And then, so this is where your summative grade is going to come into play. So you're going to make a claim. So go back and look at our driving question for this assignment. Your evidence, so there's three different stressors. So the evidence should probably be your three different um, stressors. Make sure you guys are using quantitative numerical data for your evidence. 
And then your reasoning, this is the important part, you're going to explain why your heart rate changed the way it did because of stress. You're going to need to use these terms right here that are italicized. I know this looks overwhelming at first. To help with this, go back and reread the introduction. See the models that are on the next page. So this one and this one. Take some time, explore those models. And then also this YouTube video right here. It's a two-minute video that explains the stress response. It's really, really good. Um, so watch those and kind of make understanding of how our bodies respond to stress um, and what our bodies do. All right, so you guys get two days to do this, Monday and, excuse me, um, Tuesday and Wednesday. And then for the summative, this same exact CER is on the summative. So if you complete this on here, you can just copy and paste this into your, um, your summative. And I should hopefully have time to give you guys individualized feedback on Wednesday. Um, so make sure you make the changes that I, I suggest for the summative. All right, please let me know if you guys have questions.